It's Pikachu! It's Storm and Prim You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Ice Shades and we're back again with uh, another video. Man, we got buddies. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all already know where I'm going to go. Y'all just know. You guys already know where, <laughs> where I'm heading. I, uh, I watched the announcement. I didn't watch it live, but I watched it two hours after. And, uh, man. I will say there's some pros, but there's definitely some cons. I don't even know where to start or which one to start with. I mean, they're going to come out with more, more with more details. So the stuff that I desire for change may be coming and they're just keeping it secret right now. You know what? Let's start off with the positivity. We're going to look at the bright things first, and then I will go into the stuff that I don't like, right? I will say from the get, from this alone, it won't bring the player base back. This won't bring the player base back. I'm sorry. I know we all love Farlight. We have in a special place in our heart. But this won't bring the player base back. So, where I will start off first, right? So what caught my attention from the start, because we're going to talk about the the pros, right? Like the, the good things that I saw that, that were good. So I saw these scopes, the guns, the gameplay, the gunplay looks, I, I got to tell you, the gunplay looks good. The gunplay, the gunplay looks crispy. And I think they patched the slowdown. I think they removed that because if you look at Lucinda getting shot right here, she doesn't look like she loses speed right here. When she goes straight into a slide, right? I could be wrong. Uh, these are bots that they're shooting like uh, he, he wasn't even moving. Uh, these new weapons look sick, man. I definitely got to say they look sick. Uh, damn. So they, the, the shotguns have ADS now too. That's actually really dope. Um, I gotta say the gunplay looks great They're, they've done an amazing job with the gunplay uh i've always wanted better gunplay in farlight and here it is it, it, it's actually looking good uh that shotgun looks like it's definitely gonna be pretty pretty strong like i mean look at those pellets and killing bots and <laughs> my god dude. uh okay so i don't know why they'll put that in the update you guys know I'm straightforward. Like, I love the far light devs. Uh, I respect them, but I will criticize what I don't agree with. Like, bro, the scopes just look sick, man. They look sick. They actually look sick. Uh, it's a lot better than what it was before. Uh, the iron sights, pretty good. It's uh more on the realistic end. That red dot looks so sexy, man. It looks so nice. And that two time, oof. I think that's a two time, right? If I'm not mistaken, that could be a two time or a three time. But these guns, these guns look sick, dude. I really like that they added the scar 171. Um, other stuff. So the inventory looks a little bit cleaner. The meds, the ammo, it all looks a little bit cleaner than what it did before. So those are, those are the pros, right? And definitely the map update. The map, the map looks good, dude. This map looks, it looks finished. It looks polished. It looks vibrant. If you do, if you rather play on sunset than play on this, you definitely have some issues. Like this, this map looks great. It looks great. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the detail, I got to give it to them. Like on this, they just did an amazing job with the map. The map is, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's good. I, I love it. So those are the two things that i 
I was like, wow, okay, that's good. So what I don't agree with, if I'm going to be honest with you, it's the whole buddy thing. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I could see where it could, uh, you could kind of have some sort of interaction. I mean, you could walk around with your buddy, which that's actually pretty cool. Like we just, we just saw it right there. You could walk around with your buddy. That's, that's pretty cool. So you could kind of probably like, you know, build something with that buddy. I, I, and what I mean, like on a personal note, right? Like you probably think it's cute and you're like, oh, I want to, I want this buddy to fly right next to me. So they obviously copied Pokemon here. Like you're obviously catching and then they have a similarity to power world, right? So the, when they, when they came up with this idea, it's beyond obvious when the power world hype was happening. That's when they came up with this idea because we all know power world just took over it, it absolutely took over out of nowhere and it was a success at launch and it just went straight down right because you couldn't really do anything else with the pals but whatever we're not talking about power worlds we're talking about farlight 84 which is pokemon 84 now like a lot of people say in the comments um so these pals they have abilities uh some will push you back others will bring a death box towards you like if you're trying to res a teammate i like those but this one right here this damn tornado right here from this legendary i don't i don't like this i don't agree with this and i will tell you right now why i don't agree with it you imagine being in final ring and by the way your abilities cannot really counter that Imagine being in final ring and getting caught by that damn tornado and being blown outside a ring and dying to ring because of that. I would be livid. I would I would be so mad if I was in a in a in a rank match um and somebody just pulls this out that has nothing to do with gunplay, right? He just pulls it out, pulls out that that, that legendary uh buddy that they call it. And it just pushes me back into the storm. And that's it. I died. It wasn't due to my skill. It was because he found a legendary buddy. And the buddy just impacted the game, right? So apparently these buddies will impact the game drastically more than your characters and your gun skills. I don't agree with that. I think they could be in the game. It's cool that they're in the game. But they should not. They should not impact the game to that extent. And if they were going to impact the game to that extent. You guys are probably going to agree with me. You guys probably won't. I feel like they should make it like actual Pokemon. Like if you found this, this, this rare pal, or I mean, buddy, sorry. I'm a big Pokemon fan, by the way, but this looks more like power world than Pokemon. Um, if you found this buddy and it's just a rare item. I think you, if you win the game, you should you should be able to leave with that buddy, right? And that buddy stays with you, so you give it you give the buddy some sort of prestige, right? Uh, and some sort of excitement, like wow, I just found this buddy, um, dude, it's super rare, like you know, you get me. So it, it kind of there's more meanings to these characters being put into the game, which. It, in, a, in a way it kind of becomes like an extraction shooter where you kind of like could take the items with you but if you die you lose them so pretty much if you die you lose that buddy right but that buddy wouldn't be at wouldn't be accessible to your opponent because i think that would be too broken or maybe it can maybe not but i feel like that would be cool if they did something like that where you could actually leave with that buddy uh and obviously you can't spam that ability right you can only use that ability like one time in a whole match so i'm just wondering how often could you use these abilities from these buddies right because look at that look how that just blows you away like dude you can't do nothing about that imagine being in final final circle right close close game and on top of that it does damage to you like dude farlight just loves putting things into their game that are just so overpowered so overpowered and i i just don't agree with that man this is not gonna bring the player base back uh i know some people in the comments seem like they were excited about this uh 
And I said, the first thing I said, imagine getting blown away to outer ring in final circle without a counter. And some people, we got a uh, lighty saying that Farley 84 merch looking real good. I mean, it, that that merch does look good. I can't even complain. I I noticed them like, damn, that actually looks sick. ICO said the comeback of Farlight 84. So I don't know. I don't know. There'll be a comeback though. He said that 21 hours ago uh and it came out at seven in the morning right so that's that's obviously before he took a look at that i believe he released a video the return to farlight 84. so we're going to talk about something else uh we're going to talk about tactical core and another thing that i don't i mean it's probably going to be cool for the game right um you're kind of going to have maggie back to being the way she was prior to her nerf and some other characters are going to have a uh, they're going to be a little bit stronger than what they normally are um but this is just a rip off of apex legends uh with its uh with their system that they have and it's just something else man that i feel like they're just not cre there's no creativity man I don't see no creativity from this update update besides the buddies um but at the same time i i don't see it working i just don't like i'm sorry if i'm being negative like i'm sorry if i sound negative right now guys but i don't see this working um i really want to know what's their their thoughts into the rank system and what they will be doing i know that sunset it's gone as a rank playlist and it'll be put into the game as a casual which i don't mind that um but i don't know man they i hope they do some changes with ranked i hope they add some rewards the game is going global they will be promoting the game more like they were before so let's see what will happen but i don't i don't see this taking off i don't know what they were thinking in that meeting when they said let's add buddies and make them very overpowered like always man like i i've sent out my thoughts and i just feel like i never i, I don't get back what what i feel like would change the game right and they're just coming up with random ideas at this point they don't want to bring jetpacks back from what i see um uh, they just don't they don't they want to put jetpacks behind and they're not going to bring it back and i was actually one of the few supporters that after the the departure of the jetpack that actually saw some success in the gameplay it did improve like i know some just don't like to hear that but it did it did having jetpacks not saying that i couldn't play without it I mean, I couldn't play with it. I just felt like jetpacks was was too much chaos, and and it, it it's just it's it's an ability. It's just too strong, right, for a battle royale, and I felt like it made fights just take longer than what they should. So th those are pretty much my thoughts, man. I can't say that I'm super disappointed because I I see the effort. But I definitely can't say like this is game breaking news and Farley 84. It's it's back and better than ever. Like I can't say that I obviously have to try the game and I have to see how the mechanically how it feels. Uh, but man, I don't all your skills. Man, I, I don't know what to say to this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to drop that like. Just, just straight shout out to everybody in the community. I appreciate the support you guys give me in Farlight 84. And I appreciate the fact that you guys actually listen to my opinions. Because I want the best for Farlight 84, right? It has a special place in my heart, like I've always said. Be safe, guys. Catch you on the next one. I'm out.